Hello, this is the new charging dock for the Quest 2 from AMVR. That's what it looks like. The back of the box, we can see the parts. So let's uh, get into it and see how this thing works, guys. Some instructions. But uh, it should be easy enough to work out. So there's some extra elastic rings, which um, are used for this here. So you get some spares if you need them. So these elastics are like uh, hair bands. They are covered by uh, a fabric. We have a rechargeable battery, so we get two of those. And of course, two control covers. Interestingly, these straps here um, are leather, real leather. Usually you might get some sort of synthetic leather, but they are using real leather there which is uh, quite surprising, but uh, yeah, nice to see. The main dock. Some uh, ports on the back. So that says input, that says output. So that's for plugging into your wall charger and then uh, obviously feeding power into this. And we've got an output here, which you can then hook up to your Quest 2 and recharge your battery on the headset as well. So here are some cables, or a cable. Let's see, what do we have? Okay, so we only get one cable here, which uh, should be fine because, uh, you know, I have spares, I'm sure you do too. So that'll pop into there. Plug into your wall charger, so there's no uh, charging plug here. It assumes that you have something, which obviously most of us do. And, uh, and then just hook up your, um, which you already have actually, if you have a Quest 2, you're gonna have a charging cable, so you can pop that into there. So uh, it's giving you just everything you need and nothing more, which is absolutely fine. It saves waste. There's a little uh, satisfying bit of uh, film in there to take off, so that's nice. You can see there's some uh, pins there. So let's get to the interesting part, um, which is um, these things here. So let me uh, open up the strap here so we can have a look, in, look at it properly. So it says December, uh, disassemble this first. So that does mean basically take off this little hatch. This is a really interesting piece on how uh, these hold on to the Quest controllers. So I'll do it on both of them. But yeah, nice clever little um, device they've come up with to ensure these stay on your controller so of course these are hatches which are replacement hatches and they slide on there uh, but one issue of this is you know potentially they can come off so this hatch actually holds in the actual controller so I'll, I'll just demonstrate it now actually so um, obviously it needs to be removable since otherwise we won't be able to get this on so let me just put it on there and as I said it can come off but when we add this little hatch with this little peg on here It locks it in. Yeah, so really clever, neat little design. Yeah, so that ensures uh, these things hold in place. So the next bit of this, guys, is we need to whack in a battery. So you can see these batteries have uh, these silver pieces here, and these need to be up because those are the connections to the battery. So just put it in like a normal battery, just with the silver pieces facing up. Put the hatch on and you can see with this hatch there's also a little film there which I'll take off. So they connect onto there clearly and now what we have is a pass through to the battery which then goes onto these pins here. Like so. So you pop it in there and instant charge of your Quest controllers. And that's how this works. To turn the dock on and off, you tap the sensor here. So it's a touch sensitive sensor, which is kind of handy because it does mean you don't need to 
uh, pl unplug it from the wall when you're not using it. You just leave it on and just turn it off there. So that's standby mode, let's drop in a controller and immediately the light will change to red to indicate it's charging. Same with the headset as well, when you plug it into the output there, which I've tested and it works just fine. So you can have all three devices plugged in and charging at the same time. So very convenient, all charging from one device effectively from this dock. Pop that in there and the same thing there. Uh, when something is fully charged, those lights will turn green. Um, the other nice thing about this dock as well is you can just turn it off and what will happen now is it's not charging, but it is now a nice handy stand to store my controllers when I'm not using them. This is what it looks like on a tabletop. It's pretty small profile really, it doesn't take up a lot of room, just marginally larger than two controllers put together. So very compact. Um, I will mention actually the um, there's some black marks being uh, left by the little rubber bumpers on the bottom. Uh, so uh, be aware of that, but I am kind of moving around my table a lot. So that's my own fault. So uh, just know that anyway. Um, also worth mentioning before we uh, finish this video off is uh, these knuckle straps are really good. So they are very soft because they are leather. So they're very comfortable, nice and flexible. And also that elastic piece there is really handy to have because it means it moves around a bit you have a little bit of um, you know f flexibility here which is very nice so it never feels tight but it feels very secure so very good knuckle straps you know as knuckle straps go these are excellent doesn't feel like an afterthought which um, is, is very good and also the way these uh, covers these replacement covers stay in place is brilliant you know I can't take this off I can put a lot of force there nothing's going to come come loose on there the only way to take this uh, cover off is to remove this piece, the hatch with the peg, and then you can simply take the cover off. So yeah, very well done. It's a, it's a good design and uh, very well done. So yeah, I have to say everything about this product is, um, is very good. It's very good quality stuff. Um, I've used AMVR products before and I've always been impressed by them. So yeah, they haven't let me down. This is actually a very good um, you know, piece of kit really guys, a charging dock and some really nice uh, straps to go with it. Yeah, really nice and handy, convenient and well designed. Um, yeah, no complaints here guys, it does it all and uh, it's a very neat package. So there you go, um, that is my review for the AMVR charging dock for the Quest 2 controllers and indeed the headset, <laughs> as you can charge it off the back. Um, yeah, yeah, brilliant little sort of a bit of kit really guys. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and there you go. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.